And there's the undefeated number one ranked Duncanville Panthers. Also ranked number seven in the whole United States. They have a lights out defense. Their last playoff game against Spring Westfield, which is a good team, was 56 to zero. They have a lights out linebacking core. And the only, they did have a preseason loss that was from a non-Texas team called IMG. That is a Florida team that is strictly hand-picked. It's like all of them are all Americans. And they did lose to IMG, but apart from that, they've dominated every opponent. And the DeSoto Eagles are ready to take the field. Those of you who were with me watched a great game where they played against Spring in a guard murder last week. They are ranked fifth in all of Texas. They have a five-star defensive end on both sides of their defensive line. They have a big offensive line that can push most people out of the way. Not to America, but to the one that's even greater than America, the God in which we trust. Now 
bring up fourth down and they probably will need to punt it away. Early this year I saw Spring in their own end zone on fourth down do a fake punt. I thought, now that is some guts and it was successful. This looks like the real thing. Oh, a terrible punt. Only went 15 yards. Excellent field position. Should have been caught, wasn't it? That's the running back between that, behind that big offensive line. They had a hole for him. The secondary plugged it right up. They had the initial hole. Third down and seven. That lights out defense I was talking about. Fourth down and 10. Toss on the last play. I'm expecting a pooch kick here, and that's what we'll have. Duncanville on their own 27 yard line. Trying to get something going. Not stopping that easy, folks. Henley Jr. Take it down. My bad, that was Malachi Metlock, number five. Wide open in the end zone. First flight goes to Duncan. Panthers strike first and strike hard. Seven zero. It may be of interest to you that Duncanville is ranked seventh in the whole United States while the Eagles are ranked 14th in the whole country. If you're ranked high in Texas, you're also ranked high in the USA. This Texas is king when it comes to high school football. There's some other great programs like Bishop Gorman in Vegas, De La Salle in California, Thomas Aquinas in Florida. But one time, I remember the uh, number one California team, I think it was De La Salle, played the number one Texas team, which I believe at the time was either Cedar Hill or Euless Trinity. And it was about as much game as Alabama and Notre Dame. Texas was dominated them. Good for a first down. Their first first down. Quarterback keeper, not much there. Unbelievable force. Assisted by number nine. Trying to see who the main guy was. Fourth and two, looking like they're going for it. 
That big old line can handle them. Not a good play. Looks like it'll pick up first down and eight more. Great effort by the quarterback. Second and four. Quarterback is Samari Collier. Running back, Christopher Henley Jr. Christopher Henley Jr. bangs forward for the first down. From what I've heard, even a first down is a rarity against the Panthers, so DeSoto is doing better than most. Looking deep, he's going to run for it. We have an uh, unsportsmanlike, number 28, 15 yards forward. Five will slide in. Beautiful run. Sorry, I didn't catch that very good for you. I've been filming all day and I've been trying to get a few nachos in my belly. Sorry about that, folks, but it's a beautiful sliding, straightforward sliding, dodging run by number five, Christopher Henley Jr. So point is good. We have us a tight ball game. Well, friend, I hope you're going to enjoy this broadcast of the game. In order to get a little kickback from YouTube, what's needed is you got to have 4,000 hours of people watching your videos. I already have over 10,000 and 1,000 subscribers. I have 861. So I've been working real hard all fall to get this number up. On November 17th, we had 450. And now we have 861. So if you could just please help me and hit subscribe. It's free, it's painless, it won't cost you anything or produce any hassle in your life. And it'll help me a lot with the expense of getting to these games, getting a motel, and buying the tickets to get in and film them. Thank you. say thank you to all the Texas infrastructure and to the UIL for proceeding with the playoffs. Big 86. Whoa, he gets hit hard. Look at the power of number three. This is a safety or an outside linebacker. Hit him with a force of a DN. That was such a good fake, it had the defense and me filming the wrong person.
placed on the seven yard line. That was close, but I don't think he got it. That'll bring up fourth and two. I expect them to go for it here. Fourth and two. Movement on somebody. Number 74 is being accused. Number 35. That brings up fourth and eight. Changes the situation entirely. It's a probable punt here. A low driving punt. With all the talent on these teams, you'd think they'd be able to find somebody who could kick it 40 yards. That may be kind of a biased comment though, because I won a competition called Pun, Pass, and Kick. Not because I was a passer. And a nice run. He's got some speed. He's turning the corner. Oh, no. Number. On the kick. 14 to 7. Got Panthers on top and with the ball. Seems to be the strength of this Duncanville Panther Panthers defense is that great linebacking core. I wonder how they'd fare against a great aerial attack like South Lake Carroll or West Lake. Ball came out, he was probably down before it did. First and ten, Panthers. He drops back. He's got a man wide open. Beautiful. Way to look that one in, number one. DeSoto Dien, Myron Murphy. He's a five-star recruit. As well as Shamar Turner. 
number 32. Let's see if they can make a stand and keep this one within reach. Looks like they do. The last game I filmed of DeSoto, they did not score in the first half. They came out down 14 points and won the game, I believe it was 25 to 21. So they can make some great adjustments at halftime. That's often a good sign, of, uh, that's often a sign of great coaching is when a team comes out that hasn't been doing too well, makes adjustments and dominates in the second half. Not take a gift from Santa. We'll bring up the third down. Look at the size of this wide receiver or end number eighty nine on the right. That's the same guy that just dropped one. I'd be high stepping too. Yes, number 15. That's a way to save the day. Number 15 just kept his team in the game. Score is 7 to 14. 10 minutes left in the half. Whoa! I don't know, but this doesn't look like a team that you want to get down two touchdowns to. The Panthers have a stingy defense and can move the ball. Copy back. Not as bad in the middle. Number nine. Good group tackling, there's nothing there after the catch. Whoa! Now the linebacking core, that is probably the best in high school football anywhere in the nation, is number nine, Hendrick Blackshire. Number two, Jordan Cook. Number 51, Elijah. Will Sun, I believe it is. And you really won't find a more talented linebacking core in the nation, except possibly at a hand-picked school like IMG in Florida. Oh, almost. I have to cringe when I see these putts. As a 10 year old, I won a competition called Punt, Pass and Kick with a 69 foot punt as a 10 year old, which was probably further than that went. Perfect on the money. That was a thing of beauty. 22-7. Quarterback redeems himself. No, actually I was nine when I did that. Oh, 
And could that come back to haunt them? Another false start. Moving it more into the range of a short field goal. And a good leg. Brings them the extra point. Score 21. 7, 7.55 remains in the second half, second quarter, excuse me. That was the great Kendrick Blackshire coming in at linebacker, making that, just about making that tackle. And number nine is right there on that play too. He smells stuff out quick and goes with pretty amazing speed to the spot of attack. The DeSoto linebacker is also a great athlete. Whoa, that was tough, and he held on. That's some guts. 13, way to go. Hey, that moved the team, folks. We got us a game. Game two. Good hands and good quickness. That little receiver's got some. Speed, some hands, and some guts. Good job, number 11. You don't got to be big to succeed. I have a personal friend named Gordon Banks. That is a very small guy, but he played eight years in the NFL. Then again, when you've got 4-2-5 speed, you can squeeze in some places. And a big must-have for fourth down attempt for the Eagles. Fourth and about three and a half. Oh, and there. They swarm the pocket, and there's just nowhere to go. Very good field position for the Panthers. On the Eagle 45. Not a good tackle made on the sidelines. He'll take off. There's all kinds of space, but there is a flag. Like there might have been a hole. Indeed, it was a hold, and they'll be facing a second and 18. Just be the break that the Eagles needed. The guy can pass. Then again, these receivers are getting extremely open. 
Third down and two. Third and short. And they'll stop him. DeSoto is known for a great defensive line. We'll see if they can make the much needed fourth down stop. It's a quarterback keeper. And they will. They will make this stop. I like that little receiver. I'd send him out about 15 yards and to a little post route and see what he could do. Number 11. He's got my admiration. He's caught in everything that was thrown his way, even when he knew he was going to get hit. And he made yards after the catch. Well, let's see if they take my advice. They have number 11 lined up in the slot. Oh, no, it's a keeper. That won't be enough. Fourth and one, normally very doable for the Eagles. But against Duncanville, there's no guarantee. That was way too slow to develop. Can't do a fourth and short and take a second and a half to develop the play. Will this be a show me whose defense is greater or a break it wide open point? He's dropping back. He's got his man number 13, plenty of space. The only team I know of that looks to me like they could hold up against the Panthers might be Westlake or perhaps Southlake Carroll. But then again, DeSoto made an unbelievable adjustment at the halftime of spring when they were down 14 to 0. Legion of Boom strikes again. Eating up the Appalachian and rightly so. If I was that swing quarterback, I'd be tempted to say, hey coach, you know that backup of ours is really good. That was an uncalled for comment. Two twenty-one remains in the half. Third and a mile. He launches a beauty. It's overthrown. Legs everywhere, but what for? Substitution infraction. Five yard substitution. That's a little better. Good bounce. That'll get him a little breathing room. Second down for the Panthers. 28 to 7. 146 remains. Beautiful. Number 15 has his second interception. Nice. I thought it capitalized on the second interception. Number 15. Speedy corner that watches the quarterback's eyes. Second 
second and a manageable four. Beautiful. Getting number nine in ball. Looks like a baller. They're driving on the 24. They need this, folks. 47 seconds. That's that number nine I've been mentioning. Kendrick Blackshire getting into the backfield like one of the Watt brothers. And we've got a third and 11. Here comes those linebackers. He gets it off in time. Oh! Beautiful throw right to the receiver. He was all covered up though, and there's no flag. Fourth and 12. Here come that linebacking core again. Duncan Bell takes over on downs. 28 to 7, 21 second remains. Soto says we can do that too. The half ends 28 to 7. Duncan Bell on the lead. Southern folk. Hey! How y'all doing, man? You said. <laughs> We got some bundled up people here today. They're bundled up. Well, I hope you are enjoying today's game. I fell in love with Texas high school football when my son Abe Willows was a star running back for the Lake Travis Cavaliers in 2014 and 2015. His undefeated Lake Travis Cavaliers ranked second in the state, and they faced a Texas team that to this day is considered one of the great high school football teams of all time, the 2015 Katy Tigers. During 17 seasons of watching my son, there was certainly the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And I encourage you to keep your hopes anchored on the unchanging kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Texas football is 12 minute quarters and the second half begins. With DeSoto having the ball, we'll see if they made some adjustments. I think the biggest adjustment is gonna be that Drew Brees-esque or Tom Brady-esque quick release because he hasn't got much time back there. The Legion of Boom comes in in about two and a half seconds. so. If they're going to go, they're going to have to get about a one and a half to two second release on that ball. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Numero uno halftime adjustment. Quick developing plays and a quick release on the quarterback. Because those poor guys just haven't got much time back there facing facts. Hey, there's a good play. Where's my number 11? He never seems to miss. And looks like another punt. Sure that's not what they were hoping for. That's a pretty good punt. Nice high punt, and he's going. Woo, baby! That's what I like to see. Sure hands. In the last game. Okay, a block in the back penalty. That'll give them a little breathing room. We'll see if number 15 can get his third in interception and maybe take it to the house. How about that? That's what they need. That's a good corner, number 15. If somebody's watching that. Should pick him up. Hi, 
nice snap. He handles it well. He plunges through the hole for two. And there's a little fight in the back. That little fight is costing him half the distance to the goal. Did Mama tell you to keep your hands to your sail? Third and long, this could be just what the Eagles need, a little boost. There's a flag, could be holding. A defensive hold will give them a penalty and a first down. It's hard to handle when you've got a lights out defense and an offense that can do that. Malachi Metlack in for the score. Have you heard of the book of Malachi? Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. See if I won't open up the windows of heaven pour you out a blessing you won't have room enough to contain. Looks like that's what's happening for the Panthers this evening. Woo! I wish I could do that. We've got 35 to 7. 9.19 remaining in the third quarter. A little pooch kick. Fielded by number 84 at the 40. These Dallas teams have some good competition up here. Most of the games are televised. And they gotta run the gauntlet to even get this far. The big surprise in Austin being the perennial power Lake Travis Cavaliers that were rated like fourth in the state before it began falling in the first round to Round Rock. But Round Rock was just no fluke. They nearly beat Spring, who really handled their, their other opponents handily, and were in a playoff game with the Westlake Chaparrales. I did not hear how that went, but I would be very surprised if Westlake did not move on. They've got a really strong squad this this year, and they're, they've won like 21 straight, including the state championship last year. I'd like to see them play Duncanville. That would be a game. Yeah, hey, there we go. DeSoto's getting something going. Not much down the middle there. Some of them peripheral receivers are pretty good. If you could get them going, begin to work them like um, like the Longhorns did in the last game. Those little swing routes, those short swing routes, you could you could gain some momentum. Space, there is a flag on the play. Oh, that's looking good. There's a little scuffle after the play there. Backed up by a penalty. It'll be second and 20. Now, either that was a wild cat or they've got a new quarterback. Maybe number one felt like he'd been sacked enough tonight. Maybe he's hurt. I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to a change of pace to see if they can get something started here. Good looking. 
that kind of guts will give a little spark and momentum to it. Hey, trying a QB with that kind of mobility just might have been their answer. They definitely had to do something because the Legion of Boom was just wreaking perennial disaster on number one. There you go, Ivy. This guy just kind of takes off and hey, hey. DeSoto's probably thinking, hey, where was this guy in the first half? Got an injured Panther. That is Foster, one of their really good outside linebackers. He's coming off the field under his own power. I'm glad we haven't seen any what I would call really serious injuries today. goal-to-goal -goal situation, and number six seems to be giving them a spark. Hey, number 14 in for the score. <laughs> we got us a 14 to 35 ball game. In order to get a little kickback from YouTube, What's needed is you got to have 4,000 hours of people watching your videos. I already have over 10,000 and 1,000 subscribers. I have 861. So I've been working real hard all fall to get this number up. On November 17th, we had 450 and now we have 861. So if you could just please help me and hit subscribe. It's free. It's painless. It won't cost you anything or, or produce any hassle in your life and it'll help me a lot with the expense of getting to these games, getting a motel, and buying the tickets to get in and film them. Thank you. That highly mobile quarterback that can evade the Legion of Boom just might be their ticket, but do they have time? There's still enough time left that if they could get a quick stop here and get the ball back. They might breathe a little life. I just had my 71 Camaro worked on, so it has over 500 horsepower. I wonder if you were to calculate how many horsepower is on the field right now, how much you'd have. It's a good bet, I guarantee you that. like they get the stop. If they could get the stop here, we could see a little shift of momentum. Come on, big B-line. Nope, some teams just spent too many hours in practice. Chains have moved. 45-yard line of the Eagles. Looks like a few people are starting to filter out. you're enjoying this game with the uh, timeouts and the advertisements edited out, please subscribe and give me a little love on there. Thank you very much. I think they're going the wrong direction. Third and a long six.
the punching unit will come on. At least those kind bounce well. <laughs> Only 43 seconds left in the third quarter with a score of 35 to 14. And wisely, the quarterback just handles that and gets it on the ground. The clock is ticking. The third quarter has six seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one. They will not get a playoff. And the fans are giving their boys some love. That's a heck of a team, I'll tell you that much. Throws it away. Backed up by a holding penalty, we have about third and 18. He drops back to pass. He's got his man short, he stopped immediately. Brandon Tucker, good job. Fourth and 18, they will punt. Not a dandy punt. That will be fielded and have room to go. Woo! Look at that speed! This has got been all game. Boy, was that ever needed. And that PAT is good. That's invigorating on full team. Just when it seemed the game was slipping away, their savior arrived. Twenty-one thirty-five, eleven oh six to go. Now let's see if they can turn that into a momentum shift and not just a great play. He said, I can go. I can try that too. I did not take note of the number of that punt return man. But why not incorporate him like Kansas City incorporates Hill? It's getting to be a cold night in Dallas. If it's any colder, we'll dump this down. Frost Bowl. And the Soto Band is putting out some inspiring tunes over there. Let's see if it translates to play on the field. Folks, that was a punt that did not go well for the return squad. They retained possession but went backwards to about the eight. Appreciate Globe Life Park, home of the Texas Rangers, making this available. like a horse collar. They're really letting them play out there. There's several penalties that are just being ignored. 
Fourth and five, down by 14. 719 remaining in the game. What do you do? Ball foul will back them up. They're backed up to their own 47 yard line. It's third and a lot of real estate to go. He's backed up. He's looking. He has a man open. He's got it. After attempt, and I'm going to keep the camera up there to try to show you that amazing hurdle. Off to the left, he's got it. He's got one man to beat. Bubbles in, but oh, what a hurdle. Sky high, Superman. There's our score and time remaining. Oh! He goes the other direction. Pulled down, but not before games. <laughs> That was almost a pretty insane catch. I mean, turned around, running backwards, hauls it in, only drops it as he falls to the turf. That was almost Odell Beckham stuff. Batted down by number 10 on the Panthers. Got a big arm up there, said not today. Brought down hard from behind. That will bring up fourth and 20. This is a score and time remaining. Not a good kick that time with a bad bounce. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I've really enjoyed watching the DeSoto Eagles. This is the second game I filmed them. I have great respect for that O line, those DNs, and they've done a great job. In any other state, they might be champions. But not in Texas, my friends. Duncan Bill will go on, and we wish him the best in the next round. I'll catch this last play, and then I'd better get my cold wife home. It's like they'll just. Punctuation point time. Well, that will about do it. And 
Reds with 347 remaining in the game. Come on, We've got a speedster rounding the corner. I wouldn't mind running behind that gentleman. 49 to 21 with 338 remaining. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for enjoying the game with me and have a happy new year.